how did it feel to, to finally put pen to paper and sign on the dotted line today? It feels really good. I just felt like a sense of peace, so it was really nice. Uh, what was it about uh, Moody Bible Institute for you that made you want to go there? Um, well, the school was just so God-centered. I just couldn't help but fall in love with it. And um, outside of the school, the team was just so welcoming. They made me feel like I had been going there for three years already. And the coach was just so excited and so passionate about the game and about the Lord. It was just incredible um, to be a part of, and it was something I really wanted to be a part of. How exciting is this day and this opportunity for you to, to get to continue your volleyball career? It is such a blessing. Just, um, I mean, it's nothing I did between the coaches, the teammates, um, my parents, my friends. Just the blessings that God has put in my life in order to get me to this point has just been such an amazing blessing. And I am just so excited to be able to use the gifts and blessings that he's given me to be able to hopefully glorify him um, in the rest of my volleyball career. Uh, was playing volleyball at the next level kind of always a dream and a goal for you? Um, it was ever since I started playing, but in the middle of high school, I kind of got a little unsure. I didn't know quite what God had planned for me, but um, it pretty soon was made evident to me after the end of my senior season that there was no way I could give the game up. I loved it too much. Um, looking back at your time here at Blackhawk, what are you going to remember most uh, about playing here for the Braves? Uh, I think I'm just going to remember the joy that we played with. I think when you play with such an amazing group of girls for four years in a row that just love the Lord with everything they have in them more than anything else, um, you can't help but play the game of volleyball with just such a passion and such a uh, joy that is just unexpre unexpressible. And um, that's something that I think I'll always carry with me. I mean, the lifelong memories I've made because of that have just been absolutely incredible. What is it you think that you bring to the Archers program? Um, I think I definitely bring the intangible things. Uh, like my coaches thought I, I like to talk a lot on the court. I never stop moving my mouth and just that just will to win. Um, they already have that, but I think I can just contribute to that even more. Just that passion to never give up on a ball, to um, want to just crush the ball every time I go up to swing, want to place the ball though when it's the time, when the time's right. Just everything possible to win while still glorifying the Lord through that. Uh, what do you think you still need to work on, improve on, if you want to be able to go in and, and help make an impact? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's so many things I can improve on. I think one thing is definitely um, my serve receive. Um, I haven't always gotten the opportunity to serve receive from being a middle hitter, so I definitely want to improve that going in and then while I'm there. And then I definitely want to be more explosive on my um, approach. I think that will help to give me more power. Uh, what position do you see yourself playing when you get there? Um, well, the coach is talking about playing me as a outside or right side. So, I mean, because I've gotten thrown into so many positions, uh, I really want to make the most of whatever um, they have. How do you think that versatility can help you? Oh, I think it's definitely been key in my recruiting process. I think that um, my versatility has really made me the player that I am. I'm not just a middle hitter. I'm not just a right side, but I really can do of just about anything that a coach needs and I'm willing to do just about anything that a coach asks of me. So that's really been a blessing that my coaches have really trained me to um, be a versatile player. And then what do you plan on studying? Uh, I'm planning on studying counseling at Moody and then going on to grad school for genetic counseling.